Hi, my name is Corey Johnson with DCS. In this video, we are going to be doing a walkthrough for the segment bend move. For this example, we have a uh, door ring assembly. And as you can see, we have six highlighted red points. We have six datum A targets. And we want to use all of them in the constraint for this assembly in this case as they all go to a fixture, which can be shown here. So we want to move this assembly by all six datums. And that can be accomplished with the segment bend move. And we're going to walk ourselves through it. So here's a drawing mock-up of the dual ring assembly. You can see we have six A datums as well as datum B and C. And the way this is gonna work is we are going to pick the first three primary plane points, um, just like you, you would do for an auto bend move or any six or step plane move for that matter. And as well as the datum B and C. Um, and then we are going to designate the bend points and bend lines and bend to the A4, A5, and A6. And the way that's going to look is we're going to select our first bend point, in this case A4. Then we're going to select the points that define the line, in this case A2 and A3. And then we're just going to really repeat the same process uh, for our second bend point, in this case A5. And then the two points that define that line in this case, A3 and A4. Then we'll pick the third bend point up here, A6, and then the two points that define that line, A3 and A5. And once we complete that, our primary plane will encompass the whole assembly in all six uh, datum targets that go to the, the fixture. So a little preview of what the move operation is going to look like. The top of the move dialog box, the first six objects are going to be like just any move. Your three, two, one, three primary, two secondary, one tertiary. And then down here we have our bend points. So we're just going to select those uh, for our objects and targets. We got A4, A5 and A6, and then pick the corresponding bend points on the fixture, A4, A5, and A6. And then we have to designate the points that define the line, which is going to be over here on the right side. And for A4 over here, the points that define that line are A2 and A3. The two points that define the line of A5 are A3 and A4. And the two points that define the line for A6 are going to be A3 and A5. So we're going to hook this move up. And to get started, we're going to go to our moves dialog box and hit the drop down and go to auto bend here and hit add. And we're just going to give this a name, door ring segment bend. And we want to be sure to change the mode here from auto bend to segment bend. Then we're going to start with our objects. And they're here in our door ring. So we're just going to select those first three, A1, A2, A3. And then our datum B and C holes for secondary, and then our tertiary controls, which is also the four-way datum B here. Now we're just going to pick the corresponding targets on the fixture for the door ring. So in the same order as our objects, A1, A2, A3, the datum B pin, C pin, and then the B pin again for tertiary. 
Now you can see the dialog box immediately prompts and jumps down to the bend line points. So we start again with our objects and we are bending to four, five, and six. So I'm going to select that, four, A5, A6, and that's all of our bend points. So now we have to click over here into the target and pick the corresponding bend points on the fixture. So that's gonna be A4, A5, and A6. And last, we have to pick the points that define the line for each bend point. So I'm going to select here in line point one. And the two points that define that line are A2 and A3. So I'm going to select A2. And then I'm going to make sure to take my mouse and click in the line point two and select A3. Again, these are the two points that are gonna define that line. So my A4 is good. Now I'm gonna work on my A5. So I'm gonna select back in here to point one. And A3 and A4 now define this line. So I'm gonna select A3, select in here to point two and select A4. And now I have to take care of the third bend point, A6. So again, selecting in here, line point one. And the two points that define this line are A3 and A5. So in my tree here, select A3, and then come over here, select into the point two, and select A5. So now we have our three, two, one as well as our bend point objects and targets and the points that define that line. Uh, now, similar to the auto bend, we have one more thing that we're gonna have to do uh, here in the directions tab. Um, just like the auto bend, the segment bend does not know, it cannot auto calculate what the secondary and tertiary direction, control directions are. So we need to go to our Directions four, five, and six. So if I toggle back here to the features, I'm talking about four, five, and six. It's our four-way and our two-way. It's our secondary and tertiary controls. So we need to enter those directions manually. So again, here in the directions tab, I'm just gonna hit the drop down and go to four. And in this case, our secondary is gonna be Z and our tertiary is going to be X. So direction four, I'm going to change the type to type in. And I'm going to make this K value one, leaving the other zero, making this a Z control. I'm going to go to direction five, do the same thing, type in, change the K value to one, leaving the other zero. And then direction six, which is now tertiary, change that to type in. Tertiary is X, so I'm going to put a one in the I value, leaving the other two zero. And at that point, I should be able to apply and OK. And I'm just going to highlight this move. And what I like to do is just kind of zoom in here to the four, you see the four way pin here, and I can see my direction four, my secondary is in Z, direction six, my tertiary is in X. So my four way looks good. And I'm just gonna come back here to my, you can see my two way slot to my two way pin. Direction five is my second secondary uh, control. You can see it's going up there in Z. So this looks good to me. And I'm just gonna update my model and nominal build and you can see the whole door ring locate to all six net pads there on the fixture and I can just kind of deviate to validate that and everything looks good and that will do it for the segment bend move I uh, hope it helps and thanks for watching